So hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a new feature of Summer 24 release and that is now you can create record from Salesforce flow and you can also check for the duplicate like okay whether the record that you are going to create is a duplicate record and if it is a duplicate, you can ignore that record or you can like merge that into the existing record so how we and how we can use that and how we can take benefit from this particular feature we are going to see now so first of all let me type flow or i can simply create a flow from this create button it's it's a kind of shortcut i don't need to remind every single time so for a very simple demonstration of this particular feature right i'm going to take a very simple example and that is i'm going to do with the help of a screen flow so now obviously we have this screen and this is also from the new release so i'm going to click on start from scratch and let's click next and then i'm going to select the screen flow and click create so first of all let me tell you more about the features first so let's say here i'm going to use a create record element and here i select create record so first of all you can see these naming will automatically appear although let's say if we want some different create a label over there so we need to simply remove that and that's kind of very frustrating so i don't know why they put it like that now the next part is uh, we have from a record variable and here you can select manually so let's say if i select manually over there and type account then here you can see the field will automatically come by default there are few fields that will automatically come over there right now this is fine these features we already have but now you can see check for matching records that's the new thing that you will see but only when when you select manually over there if you select from a record variable you will not be able to see this check for matching record now let's say if i select from a record variable and let's say i create a variable over there let's say contact data type record and it's of contact type and that's it done so see but now you don't have the feature of uh, check for duplicates right so that's why you need to select over there manually means you can create manual records over there and let's say i want to create contact so that's how it is so you can see by default there are two fields has opted out of email and last name name so right these are also like okay i don't want to use these fields so unnecessarily i need to remove and it's like an extra task for me now see here we have the check for matching record function so let's enable this and see what are the things for us so first of all here you can see to prevent duplicate records check for record that matches the these criteria and specify what happens when matching records are found so see first of all we need to provide a criteria let's say we are going to create a contact and email field is a unique field that we want to store in our salesforce or like okay if we have any kind of contact with this email there should be only single contact available to us right so email field is kind of a unique uh, field based on that field we can identify like okay this is a duplicate or we don't have any duplicate so here let's say i type email and here i can put whatever the email or let's say dynamic email when i'm going to create an account so i am going to take the input from the screen right and i'm going to place the screen component value over there so once this is done you can see if a single matching record exists if in a org a single record exists so what you want to do update the matching record or skip the matching record so here we have two options if we select update the matching record in this time a contact will not be created the existing one will get replaced by the current email that i am using sorry not email but the details because email is already same we are checking based on the email i will give you the practical demonstration but trying uh, just trying to explain you what i am going to do in my uh, practical demonstration right so if we have the matching record we can update that record and we not create any further contact or let's say record then second is skip the matching record that means we will skip the matching record and create the record anyway so now we have two contact with the same email so that's what it means now if we multiple matching record exists let's say we have more than two records exist for that particular criteria that we are providing here in that case we will modify the recently modified matching record for example we have three records that are already there in salesforce org we are creating another record over there and now 
on to these three records we have one two three right so let's say uh, second record is recently modified so that record is going to be updated in this in this case again skip all matching record that means it will skip those uh, matching record and create an another one so let's see the practical demonstration of this so what i am going to do i am going to use a screen so now i am going to drop some let's say name and then i am going to use email so these are the two components that i am going to use but anyways in the name component we don't have any feature to make it required right so that's why i generally don't use the name component right and we can use text component over there but for the simplicity for now i know like okay i'm going to provide the input so that's why i'm keeping it that way or you can use a text component because last name is a required field if you want to make the last name required on the layout the option is there to make it required but again yeah that's just for the demonstration to see the functionality how it actually works so i am going to provide some inputs so let's say api name is name and for email it's email now let's click done okay we need to provide the screen label i always forward this let's say contact info and click done so now in the create record element i am going to type create contact and now here you can see i already selected manually when i am explaining you the concept and then i am going to type here email equals email that is coming from the component and we need to fetch the value email dot value so now let's remove the last name and once we have this now i already enabled this check for matching record oops so here is my mistake that's fine here i need to provide email dot value and i need to add first name and last name as well first name let's say last name for the contact now here i'm going to type name dot first name name dot last name so this is done now for the matching criteria what is the matching criteria is like unique field we have is email so what i'm going to type email dot value so the value i am providing into the screen input matches in uh, like we have any record in salesforce right already we have record so it will match and based on that we are going to perform action so let's say if a single ma uh, matching record exists i am going to update the matching record and obviously if we have multiple record as well so i am going to modify the recently modified matching record so let's say i am going to save this flow and create records with duplicate check now i am going to save this now let's say i am going to debug this flow now before debugging this flow let me show you some uh, context in my org to give you an idea so here i have the uh, like emails right so currently you can see there are some common emails like shubham bharda sardi that's my uh, like garbage email that i used for all the promotional stuffs and all right so you can see uh, there are a lot of uh, same emails because i am testing this scenario so for now i am going to take a very unique email so right now i am seeing uh, it's j rogers burlington dot dot com right and currently for this uh, email you can see jack rogers right the name of the contact is jack rogers and email is this so i am going to use this email only so for now let's say i am going to click on run and here i'm going to provide shubham or let's say not shubham some another name ramesh kulkarni and the email i'm going to provide is same and now i'm going to click next 
so now this is done in the right hand side you can see create record element all record that meet filter criteria are ready to be updated but when the next screen pause now why it is saying updated not created because it find the potential duplicate in salesforce right so let me go back to the record and now here try to open jack rogers where is jack rogers yeah so let me open it so here you can see the name of the contact gets changed right so in the same way let's go for it <clears throat> and this time what i am going to do i am going to take this email because i have multiple email available to me i am going to type the same email over there right so currently you can see we have three email so let me add one more thing here select field to display and here is last modified date let me click on save so here we have last modified date so now you can see according to this logic we have 8th march 8 march and then we have is our 26th of august right now the problem is which contact our flow is going to update if i put this particular email id over there so the pretty much very clear answer is the contact which is recently modified or let's say uh, newly modified uh, because if let's say if i go back to the flow right and here you can see update the most recently modified matching record so according to this criteria from out of these three uh, contacts what will be the best uh, contact so according to me it is betty bear isn't it because also check the time it's 9 6 pm it is 8 48 pm and that's back in 2023 so i think betty bear contact need to be changed so right now to identify you can see american banking corp is betty bear so now let me go back and click on run again and here i am going to type sara tendulkar and now i am going to provide the email and hit next so again here you can see all record that meet the filter criteria are ready to be updated when the next screen pause or local action is executed now let's go back try to refresh so here you can see betty bear is now replaced by sara tendulkar now the reason because we are providing first name and last name over there that's why the contact name gets updated maybe in our business use cases we have different different scenarios right that you can implement with this particular feature so i found this uh, kind of helpful but oh, comment section is open for you if you have any type of scenario that you can achieve do let me know i will also try that but for now this is just kind kind of working that like how actually create record element with the duplicate check actually works so i hope you found something new from this video and if you please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much